from the scorpion's sting to the rattlesnake's bite, and the jellyfish's slimy embrace. We humans spend a lot of time standing in awe and fear of the world's most venomous creatures, which makes sense. Any animal that can kill with little more than a prick of the skin is worthy of our respect. But there is a whole other class of creatures that does not cower before the venomous villains of the wild. These are venom immune and they don't give a hoot. Even though humans dread venoms, there are mammals that really have the ability to resist venomous bites. Examples are hedgehogs, skunks, ground squirrels, and pigs. They show shocking resistance to venom. Now, the first on our list is the wood rat. The wood rat is no honey badger, the snake-defying creature that is crowned king among snakes. Wood rats weigh less than a pound, have neither large claws nor crazy fangs, and certainly don't look capable of tangoing with a full-grown rattlesnake. And yet, in 1976, a student at a university center who was saddled with the task of feeding snakes on one occasion thought it didn't make much difference what kind of rodent the serpents ate, so he offered a western diamondback rattlesnakes a plump, fuzzy wood rat. The snake attacked by sinking its fangs into the rat's fur, a move that is usually followed by near-instant hemorrhaging, clotting in the liver, and cardiac arrest. But instead of kneeling over, the rodent stared back at death and whispered, not today. When the scientists repeated the trial, they found that the wood rats not only held their own against the rattlers, the rodents sometimes scratched and bit the snakes to death. Wood rats, as it turns out, are immune to rattlesnakes' venom. Makes sense, right? If you are a cute little ball of fur that lives in rattlesnake country, then you better be immune to venoms or die when life is sweetest. Leatherback Sea Turtle These oceanic behemoths make a living slurping up super venomous jellyfish stinging tentacles, and all like it is nothing. As far we know, leatherbacks are not immune to the jellyfish's sting, it's just that they never get stung. From their shells and scaly skin, to an esophagus that looks like a rat hole, the turtles have evolved countermeasures that prevent jellyfish from delivering their microscopic venom harpoons. Of course, all of the turtles' defenses might be rendered moot if it ate a poisonous animal as opposed to a venomous one, honey badger. These small fuzzy-looking mammals sure are not pettable. But would you imagine that snakes fear them too? Honey badgers are impressive snake predators, they also regularly take on animals much larger than them, such as lions and hyenas. Honey badgers have a double resistance to snake bites. Their blood can develop antivenom which easily stops any bites from venomous snakes. Aside from their blood, it can be hard to land a bite on this animal in the first place. Because of the thickness of their hide, it is extremely difficult to pierce any part of a honey badger's skin. Other than snakes, honey badgers are immune to bee venom. After all, honey badgers take their name from their love for honey. They regularly climb up trees and take it straight from beehives. While doing this, bees will sting them repeatedly. Unperturbed, these fearless animals would simply continue eating as if the insects weren't there at all. Hedgehogs Hedgehogs are often regarded as one of the cutest animals in the animal kingdom. Measuring between 5 to 14 inches, they weigh about 2 pounds, even when fully grown. Considering their defense mechanism, it's no surprise that hedgehogs have developed an immunity to snake venom. After all, when balled up, hedgehogs can only rely on their spines. If attacking snakes are dedicated, they'll accept the painful stabs in exchange for biting the hedgehog. With immunity, hedgehogs can just safely wait out the attack. With that said, because of their size, hedgehogs can only handle a small amount of snake venom. A single snake bite, especially from more fatal species, like vipers, is sometimes enough to kill a hedgehog. Additionally, bites to areas that do not have spines are more fatal. One bite to the face, belly, or extremities can be enough to kill this animal. That's mainly from damage caused by the fangs to soft, unprotected flesh or organs, mongoose. Despite how it looks, the mongoose is perhaps one of the hardiest animals when pitted against a venomous snake. 
They are prolific hunters of these reptiles, with no real preference for one species over the other. In many cases, both modernly and historically, they have been used as a method of population control. If an area has snakes in abundance, mongooses can easily do the job. Mongooses have a mutation in their cells that allows them to resist snake venom. Unlike other animals, however, mongooses are extra resistant. The venom simply bounces off their receptors. This is because of a glycoprotein that coats the cells, rendering the venom ineffective. Mongooses are quick and agile. If forced to wrestle a snake, they can easily keep up with the twists, bends, and thrashes. Thanks for watching.